Hello friends, welcome to Learn SL tutorial. Today I am going to show how to install Rock Mango on CentOS 7. Rock Mango is a GUI administration tool for MongoDB. Before start the installation, you just check your MongoDB service status by using systemctl command. You just type systemctl status MongoDB service. Type the command like this. After that, hit enter. Okay, now MongoDB service is active. The next you check PHP install or not. Here I am just use varis command. Okay, I have installed PHP. Next you just edit this php.ini file by using vim type the command after that press enter. Now php ini configuration file is open. Here you just add this line extension equal to mongo.so. After that save and quit then next you just move opt directory with the help of cd command opt and then download rock mango master zip file with the help of wget command type the command like this after that press enter okay now download process is started okay now master file download process is completed then next you unzip that master zip file with the help of unzip command you just type unzip command like this after that press enter okay now unzip process is completed then next you list out that file here you can be able to see rock mango master directory you just move the directory to the www directory with the help of me command type the command like this after that press enter okay now it's moved then next you restart your httpd service type the command after the press enter okay now httpd service is restarted then the next open your browser then next you open new tab and then type your localhost ip address and then rock mango type the url like this after that press enter okay at first you can get a login page like this by defaultly username is admin and then password as well as admin enter user credential after that click login okay that's it friends now you can able to see your dashboard here you can able to see servers web server and php version and database here you have multiple tabs server status database process list tab and command and execute and master and slave okay that's it friends thank you for watching